When people thought Diddy had settled the lawsuit with Cassie by paying her $100 million, another video popped up on social media. This time, it isn't just any usual abuse case. A new video has leaked on social media where police are interrogating a male escort who has allegedly made some shocking claims against Diddy. Sean Diddy Combs is now panicking about the allegations against him as they're being proven true one after another. So what did the man reveal? I with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard lots of business because what they would- A video of an interview with a man named Jonathan Audie is spreading online because he's saying shocking things about Diddy. Audie says he had a lot of S moments with Diddy and Cassie and even calls himself their S slave. And I was, being the, I was like a slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. He shares that Diddy would instruct him on what to do with Cassie while he took pleasure in watching the acts. Many people think this matches what Cassie said in her lawsuit. Audie claims that Diddy used to record their encounters but insists he has one of the tapes. This supposed interview happened between 2014 and 2017 before Cassie even filed her lawsuit. Audie says that Diddy is involved with the Boule, which he describes as the black branch of the Illuminati. Additionally, he suggests that DJ Khaled and Rick Ross are also gay. Back then, people thought Audie was not mentally stable because he made other bizarre claims, like Jimi Hendrix being alive and residing in Cuba. He also mentions receiving a large sum of money from Diddy to keep quiet. But now that we see that Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy was settled in less than a day, it proves that Diddy is guilty of what he has done way before. Many fans think that the claims might be true as it perfectly aligns with the same allegations that Cassie made recently. However, since the video has been leaked, which dates way back to 2014 and 2017, many people are now curious to know if someone is secretly exposing Diddy's secrets to hold him accountable for his actions. Fans are already aware of the fact that Diddy uses his power and billions of money to pay people to stay shut. Many fans also believe that the FBI is guarding Diddy due to the fact that Cassie accused him of things, and she tried to take him to court, but Diddy used smart legal moves to avoid the lawsuit. There was also a time when Diddy was handcuffed for gun possession, but somehow, that problem went away quietly. This small incident suggests there might be a bigger story of dodging the law and staying safe. The plot thickens as Sugi Knight has also made allegations against Diddy to prove who he really is. Knight digs deeper, hinting that Diddy's ability to avoid legal trouble wasn't just luck. He suggests that Diddy might have had a secret role as an informant or someone with inside information for the FBI. This alleged connection could explain why Diddy managed to navigate legal issues without much harm. However, this could also explain how Jonathan Odie's video got leaked on social media. Knight goes on to explore the idea of Diddy being an FBI informant, which, if true, could be the reason behind his many legal getaways. This paints a picture of a man carefully walking the line between the law and his own ambitions, using his connections to stay ahead of the game. Suge Knight sheds light on a mysterious side of the entertainment world, suggesting that Diddy and Jay-Z's connections go beyond the glamour of music videos and awards. According to Knight, these connections aren't just about influence, they involve a deeper collaboration with institutions meant to uphold the law. However, it has come to light that Diddy might be panicking, as he is going to lose his power and fame soon. Since the video leaked, many fans believe that the FBI won't protect Diddy anymore due to the pressure of lawsuits he has on his hands. Diddy is in trouble as his legal battle with Diageo over abuse allegations adds a new layer to his story. Diageo distancing themselves from Diddy, citing the allegations, marks a significant downturn in the mogul's fortunes. Diageo, a major player in the global spirits market, is now in a legal dispute with Diddy over abuse allegations. This development is more than a business disagreement. It symbolizes Diddy's strained connections with entities far more influential than any individual in the music industry. In a legal fight with Sean Diddy Combs, Diageo, a big company, has raised claims of Diddy abusing singer Cassie for an extended period. Diageo wants to remove Diddy as the public face of Delay on Tequila, fearing that the abuse allegations could harm the brand's reputation. Additionally, they are seeking a change in the legal process for the case scheduled for next year. Diageo highlighted this demand during another lawsuit. In that lawsuit, Diddy accused Diageo of marketing Ciroc and Delay on Tequila exclusively to black customers. 
On November 16th, singer Cassie Ventura filed a legal case against Sean Combs, Diddy, in a Manhattan federal court, accusing him of physical abuse during their decade-long relationship. Cassie joined Diddy's record label in 2005, and they started dating in 2007. According to legal documents, Diddy allegedly became controlling and abusive after Cassie's album release, pressuring her to use drugs and being violent until their 2018 breakup. The lawsuit details severe incidents of assault. Cassie, through her lawyer, expressed her readiness to share her story, shedding light on violence in relationships. Diddy's lawyer, Ben Braffman, dismissed these claims as baseless and outrageous lies, portraying them as an attempt to harm Diddy's reputation. The day after Cassie filed the lawsuit, a quick settlement was reached, the details of which were not disclosed. Cassie mentioned her desire for a settlement that gave her some control. The consequences of this legal battle are significant. Diageo distancing itself from Combs based on the abuse allegations signals a major shift in Diddy's fortunes. It suggests that Diddy's supposed immunity, possibly tied to his alleged informant status with the FBI, is no longer protecting him from the consequences of his actions. This change goes beyond a legal dispute. It signifies the erosion of a once-solid defense that shielded Diddy from various accusations and legal challenges. The narrative of Diddy being an FBI informant comes to the forefront. This theory proposes that Diddy, once shielded by the FBI, is now facing the repercussions of his actions. The unraveling of Sean Diddy Combs' formerly secure position in the entertainment industry and beyond is a story of overreach and the inevitable fallout. Gene Deal's revelations offer insight into how Diddy Diddy's alleged role as an FBI informant, reportedly misused, has contributed to his current predicament. This misuse of power and trust has damaged his reputation and distanced him from crucial allies and protectors. Diddy's interactions with figures more powerful than the usual players in the music industry have had both positive and negative consequences. While these connections were initially advantageous, they have now resulted in a significant loss of support and protection for Diddy. A clear example is his association with Diageo, a multinational alcohol conglomerate. The company distancing itself from Diddy, citing abuse allegations, reflects his diminishing influence and the breakdown of once solid alliances. The cases where the FBI reportedly granted Diddy special treatment due to his informant status are now being re-examined. With the loss of this protective shield, past incidents and legal challenges are resurfacing, subjecting Diddy to scrutiny and potential consequences he had previously avoided. This shift represents a crucial turning point in Diddy's story. From someone who seemed invulnerable to someone increasingly susceptible to the fallout from his past actions. Gene Deal's insights add another layer to this unfolding drama. He talks about Diddy's associations with risky individuals, choices that may have jeopardized his alleged immunity. It's a tale of taking calculated risks and the potential consequences of playing with fire. Gene Deal's commentary provides insight into the reasons behind Diddy's downfall. His associations with the wrong individuals and the alleged misuse of his informant status have triggered a significant shift in his circumstances. The withdrawal of support from influential entities like Diageo and the FBI marks a pivotal moment in Diddy's career and personal life, signaling the end of an era where he could handle controversies with relative ease. Now now that Diddy is no longer under the FBI's protection, various lawsuits have emerged, revealing hidden aspects of his life. On November 16th, a major development occurred as singer Cassie sued Diddy, claiming physical abuse during their 10-year relationship. This lawsuit brought Diddy into the spotlight, prompting other women to come forward with similar accusations, and even male escorts are describing the awful acts that Diddy forced them to do. These shocking claims have had a profound impact on Diddy's business ventures. The constant news about his legal troubles has created confusion. Now that many people are stepping forward to expose Diddy, it seems he won't be able to stand in the industry for long. A user commented, he said everything Cassie said only he said it five years ago. He ain't crazy and he ain't lying. Diddy gave him herpes and $5M to keep quiet. Like he always does. Dude knows about the Syrup bottles, Rick Ross, Khaled, all them sassy ninjas. I believe every word he said. Another user said, this was recorded in 2018. All the dots are being connected. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching.